All right, guys, so this video is just as the title says. I found another good deal, again. much better all right guys so this video is just as the title says i found another project i found another good deal again and i kind of need your guys help so a friend of mine messaged me on facebook last night and he says hey man saw this atv on the facebook marketplace for a really good deal i think you should check it out forwards me the post i look at it and immediately i was like oh crap this is a really good deal so i you know as always i couldn't pass up the opportunity to go check this thing out and pick it up now i didn't film anything because the person didn't want to be filmed but i've got it back here at the homestead and i want to show you guys and talk about it real quick and ask your opinion on something i'm looking for some feedback here so here it is guys this is a 2004 kawasaki kfx 400 as you can tell this thing is in pristine condition as the mojave is so we've got two stellar projects here now i picked this up last night i took a ride it was about an hour away i paid 325 dollars for that you're probably going what 325 dollars yes i paid 325 dollars for this and now you're gonna ask yourself where's the engine and everything else for the four-wheeler hold on Ta-da! There's the bottom end. Here's the top end. The only thing it doesn't have is the cylinder and piston and the rear wheel. Here's the rear tires and then also the seat and some other little goodies back here. It does have some work done to it. I did look at the head. The head is ported. The crank is in really good shape. There's no play in the rod. Um, there's no metal shavings or anything like that down in there. The only thing is the starter cover has a crack and JB weld on it. So that's not that bad. But everything rotates freely and looks like it's in really good shape. Uh, I looked over some of these parts last night briefly when I got it home and everything looked like it was in really, really good shape. He has the valves out of it. Oh, you know what? Here is the piston. I didn't know it came with the piston, but it looks like it ate up a ring. This will go on the wall of shame. Stupid fast wall of shame, guys. So yeah, the valves are taken out of it. Um, they are in here. The springs, the cams, all that stuff. It's all here. I don't know, you guys tell me. Would you prefer to see the Mojave get a light restoration first, or would you prefer to see this get a restoration? I've been kind of tossing around in my head, do I wanna do a light part out on this? I can make a few bucks off everything, or do I wanna go ahead and start restoring the Mojave? Or do I wanna restore this and bring it back to runnable condition? The only thing that I've kind of been weighing in my head with the Mojave, yeah, it'd be cool to, to see if we could make that thing turn some ponies. The only thing is there's not a lot of parts on the market. There's, there's like barely any aftermarket for the Mojave. So with these KFX and the LTZ 400, there's a huge aftermarket for these things. Uh, so much so that they still have stroker and big bore kits for them. They still sell extended swing arms, A arms, the whole nine yards for this. I mean, this one even came with Nerf bars and an exhaust. So that's kind of where I'm at with this. I kind of want your guys' help. I want to know what you guys want to see on the channel. Would you rather see something like this Kawasaki KFX 400 or would you rather see something like the Mojave get rebuilt and either way whichever one we decide to do a light restoration on i'll put nitrous on it when we're done and see what it'll take so yeah you guys tell me i'll do a nice little cinematic of the 400 here so you guys can get a better idea of what this thing looks like and what shape it's in let me know in the comments below i want to know what you guys think should we restore the kfx or should we restore the mojave
So I'm gonna be getting back to the wheel projects this weekend. I kind of just wanted to do a quick update video for you guys. Let you know what I have in store. Get your opinions below. As always, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.